We begin tonight with the latest on the D.C. Council's vote to permanently name Black Lives Matter Plaza. That's the section of 16th Street Northwest between H and K. It's been closed off to traffic since D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser had the Black Lives Matter Plaza mural painted on the street that leads to Lafayette Park in front of the White House. It happened this summer. This was in wake of the protests of George Floyd's killing by police. Now, I recently reported that area businesses say they've been taking a financial hit since the street has been closed off to traffic. Right now, I want to bring in the chairman of the D.C. Council, Phil Mendelson. Phil, thanks for joining us. I know you're really busy. My first question to you is tell us exactly what the D.C. Council did today concerning Black Lives Matter. Uh, what we d did, and Bruce, let me just double check that you can hear me okay. Can hear you fine, loud and clear. Uh, yes. What we did was we adopted uh, what we call permanent legislation with regard to the naming of 16th Street between H Street and K Street as Black Lives Matter Plaza. So this was done on an, an, uh, a temporary emergency basis back in June, and the permanent legislation so that this continues is what we did today. Okay, so you, you've named a piece of real estate and, and that has to do with a sign that, that, that hovers over the street that says Black Lives Matter Plaza, got that. What about the street below though? And what about the mural that the mayor had painted in the street? Uh, did the council have take any action on that or can the council take any action on that? Actually, the council did not take action on that, but uh, I don't know that we need to. The um, I, uh, I don't know that we need to. Okay, the reason why I ask is because we've been covering this story. Uh, the businesses down there have been complaining that since the street has been closed off, they've been losing money. They've been losing business. Have you heard from the businesses? I've not heard directly, but I'm aware of that issue. And uh, it certainly is of concern. I also know that the mayor and her administration are looking at how to reopen um, maybe I shouldn't put it that way, but how to um, how to manage 16th Street, Black Lives Matter Plaza without uh, continuing to um, uh, hurt the businesses that are that are along that those two blocks. All right. Uh, t t tell me if you haven't heard about this, but we've been reporting that the Federal Highway Administration, some of their dollars, if not all of their dollars, have gone into 16th Street. And most of the, uh, the the roadways, you know, that we have here in the city and throughout the area, they've got rules and regulations that deal with signage on top of streets, and you can't open that street as long as that street is painted, uh, Black Lives Matter or anything else. Have you heard that? Have you been involved in that? Uh, I've not been involved in it. I have heard that secondhand. Um, I am not uh, convinced that that is an insurmountable issue. Okay, I'm, I'm told there are negotiations going on and they had hoped to get this uh, squared out. Okay, again, uh, it's permanent now. It's Black Lives Plaza. That's what that area is called. That stretch of 16th Street, uh, just north of Lafayette Park, correct? Want to be clear on that? Yes, Black Lives Matter Plaza. Uh, and it's a statement. And I think uh, we were maybe the first city to make a statement like that. And I think it's important right now. What's the statement, Phil? What's the statement that we're making? Well, the... Literally, it's that Black Lives Matter, and uh, but it's more than that. It's that the city cares about diversity and recognizes that uh, racism is far more prevalent uh, in in subtle ways than people realize, and that uh, we need to make more of an effort to both acknowledge and to uh, come to grips with it. Yeah, we certainly agree with that. Ditto here. Uh, Phil Mendelson, chairman of the D.C. Council. Phil, thank you very much for your time. Let's hope they resolve the rest of the issue down there. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yes, Phil. and the city's certainly going to want to make sure that we do resolve it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay.